All right, welcome back to Pharmacist On Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, your community pharmacist. We're gonna get right back into your calls right now. It looks like we have Lucy on line one. Welcome to Pharmacist On Call. How may we help you? Hey, Dr. Pruitt, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Listen, uh, have you ever heard of Hajimoto's disease? Yeah, I believe that is a thyroid condition. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. uh, I've known some people that have had it where they have gone in and over and over repeatedly having their thyroid panel checked, and it showed nothing. But I think they put a monitor on you or something, and it's kind of like your thyroid kicks in, and then it kicks off, kicks in, kicks off. It's kind of weird like that, and that's how they diagnose it. And I guess they say you've got... A thyroid disorder. I don't know how they treat it, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I've talked to several people, women, that went for years not knowing what was going on with them. But you know, that lady that just called, she said that she had that operation where they went into her, her neck. Yes, ma'am. And it, 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 it makes you think that maybe it might be her problem why she started having thyroid problems. Because you know, when they give some people those bypasses, yes, ma'am. I've had a couple friends that had that and they wake up the next day and they no longer need insulin. <laughs> and it's just so weird how your body works. But anyway, my question is about your water. Your water, uh, it balances your pH out more towards the alkaline side, right? Yes, ma'am. The, the, the okay. 9.5 does, yes. Okay, now let me ask you this. Is it possible to be too alkaline? Yes, it is possible. And what would be those side effects? Uh... You would have uh, what we call dyspepsia, so you would have issues digesting your food. Uh, it probably cause you kidney problems. Your kidney's job is to maintain that acid-base balance, uh, so uh, too much may tax your kidneys trying to bring you back down, because your pH in your body should be about 7.45, so that's what we call physiologic pH. Too much either way will tax your organ system, so you should be kind of slightly over the um, the middle there but yes it is possible it's very difficult to do but yes it is possible to become too alkaline well uh have you ever heard of lobella tea the heard? old indian tobacco tea what was it what was the name of it uh, i'm probably pronouncing it wrong lobelia spell, lobelia spell that it's it i think it's spelled l-o-b-e uh t-i L.A. or something like that, Lobelia. It's Indian tobacco. Okay. And I think it's the stuff that grows on those trees. I'm not sure. But uh, I've, I've known people to use that tea to quit smoking because it makes you more alkaline. Hmm. But they say that it's kind of dangerous. You have to, uh, you only take it so long because you don't want to go real alkaline. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I'm, I, ever since I've heard, you know, that it could be dangerous, I've quit referring people, uh, you know, to use that to quit smoking because I'm like, well, what's the, the downside of that? Mm -hmm. You know, and I also, I, my other question is about, uh, 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 what is that herb that they put in Valium? Oh, geez. A valerian? Valerian root? Yeah, valerian root. I heard a few years ago, and I would take that on nights that I needed just to ease into sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, if I had been up too late studying or something, and, you know, my brain was just a little hyper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think my brain's always hyper. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm just wondering, uh, they said that valerian root can affect your heart. Is that true? I'm not sure, but I'm sure it is possible. Now, you said they were putting it at Valium? Yeah, I thought that's what the main ingredient in Valium was, was valerian root. I uh, know, ma'am. Diazepam is the name of the chemical. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. So, so the valerian root just has the effect that Valium has. Yes, ma'am. Is that the idea is? Yes, ma'am. Just like uh, GABA does, works on the, uh, the um, okay. GABA receptor, yeah. Well, you know, I'm just wondering because, you know, I might want to take some this winter when the blizzards come. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you, short term use, yeah, valerian. I've taken valerian before. Yeah, I don't like mm -hmm. to take anything very long. I just kind of like take something to kind of get my body going a little bit or help it out a little bit, and then I quit. Yeah. It, just with anything. All right, Doc, thanks, and uh, see you later. Okay, also, Lucy. Yes, sir. Uh, I got your voicemail, and no, they are not related. So it, 
it's it's not at all. I N thought maybe because of the uniform or something. Uh, so. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, your voicemail regarding uh, my technician. <laughs> and the, the yeah, autograph. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, he's he, people over there for autographs. Yes, no, ma'am. He they, I'm they are trying to make some money off of that, you know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Have a good day. Yes, ma'am. You too. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you for calling. Yeah, Lucy is a treasure trove of information, so I love getting her voicemails. Uh, she always uh, drops knowledge on just different a variety of topics. All right. Looks like we've got Lee. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, sir, Doc. I'm a diabetic, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm having a problem with uh, erectile dysfunction. Yes, sir. And uh, now I know that Agra has a... Uh, substitute, you know, a little, little less pot, potent than that is. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I'm taking that, but it, it, it's not working. So, do you think I should just go on and uh, get the Viagra? Okay, so what milligram of Viagra were you taking? No, I wasn't taking Viagra. I was taking a, a, that, uh... The Sildenafil? Yeah. How many tablets were you taking? Three, so that puts you at about 60 milligrams. You could go up to about five. Uh, yeah, and you would still get the same milligramage as a one 100 milligram Viagra. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the price of the Viagra? What did it run? Woo! The, the brand, now the price just spiked again. So at my store, they are running about, man, close to 50 bucks now. A pill? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, they are, they're expensive. And so the Sildenafil at my pharmacy, um, the price just went up on those because I'm sure I've been selling a bunch of them. Uh, so that's now, was 150 is now $2 per tablet. Okay. Still, I think that's the lowest in the city, so. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All right, let's see. But you know what? I want to do a quick uh, shout out, first of all, to my alma maters, uh, the University of Tennessee. Uh, glad to see them pull it out. And TSU, where we think, work, and serve. So uh, glad to see both my alma maters pull it out in uh, football. Hey, you callers, you hang in right there. We'll be right back. We're up on another break.